Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to use Proton Mail. So let's just begin. Okay, so first of all, you have to search for the Proton Mail on the Google. So as you can see here, we have the proton.me and we have the mail here. So let's click on this. Okay, so the Proton Mail is actually an encrypted email service based on the Switzerland. Okay, so first of all, let's just create the account here. All right, so now as you can see the pricing here, uh, we have the Proton Free, we have the Mail Plus, and we have the Proton Unlimited. And all of these different services have the different uh, packages. So let's just take the example of the free package in which you will get the storage up to 1 GB. And in the Mail Plus, you will get the storage of 15 GB. And you will also get the VPN. And in the Proton Unlimited, you will actually get the 500 total storage and 15 email addresses and the unlimited messages where in the mail plus you will actually get the 10 email addresses and unlimited messages and in the free version you will actually get one free email address and 150 messages per day okay so we also have the other products of the proton which is the calendar drive vpn and pass okay so these packages are for the individuals but if you want to look for the family packages you can simply click here and as you can see here we have these family packages so i'll just simply go back and you can also have the business packages here okay so since we know that i just want to create the account for the tutorial purpose so i'll just simply get the proton for the free and here i have to give the username all right so let's write down the password repeat the password create the account now okay so i think i have to use the different username here now I think that will work fine. Okay, so now I have to do the verification here. All right, so that is it. Next. So the verification is successful here. Now it will actually create our Proton account here. Okay, so the display name would be my name here. That would work fine. Okay, so I want to skip this right now. And we have successfully created our Proton account here. So let's skip this. Okay, so next. Okay, so I'm actually good with this theme here. So let's just click on the next and get started. Okay, so this is the dashboard of our Proton Mail. Okay, so now let's just have a complete walkthrough of the Proton Mail here. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the inbox here and the inbox we have the emails. And if you want to open the email, you would simply click on the email and it would open up the email. And as you can see here, we have and as you can see here that we have this uh, proton email okay so now let's go back and in the inbox you can also see the mails that you have already read and you can also see the unread mails and you can also see the mail that has some file or the attachment in it okay so click on the all again and we also have the drafts okay so in the draft you will have all the emails that you have written but you haven't sent to the users okay so in the send you will get all the emails that you have sent to the particular users and in the start uh, you will get all the emails on which you actually added the star okay so it simply means that the start email are the important emails and we also have the other options so let's click on the more and you will be able to see the archive uh, spam and trash and all mails so in the all mail you will get all the mails the mail in the trash the mail in the spam and the mail in the archive okay so this is what we get in the uh, dashboard and we also have the folders and the labels so we will learn to use about the folders and the labels later okay so let's go back to the inbox and you can simply click on this icon with the four uh, dots okay so in the proton as you can see here that we have five different products the proton mail the calendar drive vpn and the pass all right so if you want to search for the messages you can simply search it from here Okay, so we also have the upgrade button here, which will actually take you to the subscription plane. And we also have the settings here. So let's click on the settings. Uh, go to the setting. All right, so as you can see here, we are actually inside the settings. So in the settings, you can see the dashboard, upgrade plane, recovery. So in the dashboard, we have our plane that we are currently using, which is actually the free plan. And we can simply upgrade to the Proton Unlimited. And we also have the payment methods but i haven't added any payment method right now so now let's just click on the upgrade plane 
and you will see the same packages that we have seen earlier at the starting of the video and we also have the recovery okay so the recovery simply have the recovery email address that i haven't added right now and i even haven't added the phone number here so we also have the data recovery so in the data recovery we have the recovery phase okay and we have this recovery file okay so now let's go into the account and the password so in the account and the password we have the username we have the display name and we have the password and we have the two password mode and we also have the two-factor authentication okay so if you want to enable or increase the security of your account you would need to enable the two-factor authentication from here and in the end if you want to delete your account permanently you can simply delete your account here okay so now let's just go into the language and the time here you can see that we have the default language and the time format and the week start and now we have the appearance and we have these uh, different themes here that you can see here and we also have the accessibility so we have the font family we have the font size and default scroll bar and the disable animation so you can play with these settings here and we have the security and the privacy so in the security and the privacy we have the session management we have the security logs and we have the privacy and the data collection and now we have the import via easy switch so let's explore this what is this about okay so with this import via easy switch you can easily forward the incoming mail from another account to your secure proton mail inbox okay so you can simply import the messages uh, emails and the calendar and the contacts uh, such as from the gmail yahoo outlook and other we also have the other options here okay so now let's go into the messages and the composing so in the messages and the composing we have our short domain uh, we have the general settings layout we have the messages and we have the composing and other preferences and the email privacy we have these two options and in identity we have the email address we have the display name and the signature and we have the my addresses here and in the folders and the labels and i haven't added the folders labels yet so we have the filter so we have the filters we have the auto reply we have the domain name we have the inscription and the keys and we have imap and smtp okay okay so that was the walkthrough of the proton mail here so now let's just go back into the inbox okay so now we will simply learn to create the email in the proton mail and we will also send the email to a particular user or the particular email so let's click on the new message and here you have to write down the subject which is testing message and you can simply write down hi this is sample message from me using proton mail okay so i think that is enough so i will actually use my mail here so let's just write down the mail here okay so we have uh, given the mail we have given the subject we have written the sample text in our email and you can also change the formatting of your text so let's suppose i want to change the font size of the height so that would be around uh, 24 okay and i want to make it look bold so we can also do it by clicking on the bold here and this is actually the sample message so i want to make it italic and we are using the proton mail let's just underline the proton mail here and you can also create the unordered list and you can also create the order list here if you want to and you can even change the alignment of the text here and you can use the emojis you can use the chords you can insert the link here and you can clear all the formatting here and at the end we also have three dots so here we can insert the image and we can change the writing from uh, left to right so let's just click on the right to left okay so now you will be able to see we have our text on the right side so let's click on the three dots again and left to right okay so that looks fine here so let's remove this list here that is okay and if you want to delete the draft you can simply delete it from here and if you want to do the external encryption you can simply do it from here and here we have the more options so in the more options uh, we can attach the public key uh, request the read receipt and we can also add the expiration time for our email and here we can also add the attachment if we want to add okay so now if i click on this down arrow you will be able to see that i can schedule the send or i can schedule the email here 
so i can schedule it to the tomorrow or the monday or i can also give a custom value here but right now i just want to send the email right away so let's click on the send email so now i will actually go to my gmail account and see whether we get our email or not from the proton mail okay so as you can see here that we got the email on our gmail account okay so we have our hi and we have our sample message and sent with the proton mail secure email okay so now let's just reply to our proton email here so let's just click on hi i got it and send it back to our proton mail here all right so we have sent back the email to the proton mail so now let's just go back to the inbox of our proton mail and click on the inbox and let's just wait for it and now you can see here we got the response from our gmail here so let's click on the email and you can see here we have our response here okay so this is how you can send and receive the email in the proton mail so now let's just go back to the inbox okay so now if i click on the star icon here this would actually put our email into the starred emails okay so now you can see here and if i just remove this you will be able to see that it actually go back to the inbox here okay so let's click on the email here okay so as you can see here that i can delete this email and it would put the email into the trash and if i uh, want to put this into the archive i will simply click on this button and it would put the email into the archive and in the similar way if i put the spam icon here so it would actually put our email into the spam okay so we also have the folder option and the label option okay so let me create the folder here it would be the friend folder okay okay so this folder will only contain the emails from my friend so let's just click on the friend here and now you can see that we don't have any email here so how can i put our email into the friend folder so let's just click on the email and as you can see this uh, move to the m click here and as you can see our friend folder here so let's click here and you will be able to see that we simply move the email from inbox to our friend folder okay so in the similar way you can add the label so let's just create the label here okay so the best friend is actually the label with this strawberry color so let's save the label and if i want to put the label on our email so i can simply click on the label here and i have to click on the best friend here and apply so this would actually put the label on our email here so if i go into the labels and go into the best friends you will be able to see our email here okay so this is how you can use the folders and the labels in proton mail and in this video we learned to use the proton mail and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel